In the beginning God created the heaven and earth. And the earth was without form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God said, Let the light that it was for good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. In the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be permanent in the midst of the water. And let the divide the waters from the water. And God made the permanent and divided the waters which were under the permanent from the waters which were above the permanent. And it was so. And God called the permanent heaven and the evening and the morning for the second day. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear and it was so and god called the land earth and gathered the waters together of all the waters he called sea and god saw that it was good and god said let the earth bring forth grass herb yielding seed and fruit trees yielding fruit after its kind though seed is in itself upon the earth and it was so and the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind and God saw it was so good in the evening in the morning or the third day and God said let there be light in the permanent of the heaven and divide it from day and night and let the signs and for seasons for days and years and let them be the lights and the permanence of the heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so and God said make the two great lights and the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night he made the stars also. And God set forth the permanent in the heaven and made and given the light upon the earth and the rule over the day over the night and divided the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good in the evening and the morning or the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly and moving creatures that have life and the fowl that fly above the earth in the open permanent of heaven. And God created the great wells, every living creature that moveth and the waters that brought forth abundantly and the kind after its winged fowl, after his kind. And God saw it was good. And God blessed him saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth with the seas and let the fowls multiply in the earth in the evening and the morning or the fifth day and god said let the earth bring forth living creatures after his kind cattle and creeping things and beasts of the earth after his kind and it was so and god made the beast of the earth after his kind and the cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw it was good. And God said, let us make man in our own image, after our likeness. And let the dom dominant over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and let the over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God called man in his own image and in the image of God created he him, male and female. Created he them, 
and God blessed them and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air and over everything that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth and every tree in its kind which is the fruit of tree yielding seed to you it shall be for meat and every beast of the earth and every fowl of the air and to everything that creepeth upon the earth birth is life i have given you every green herb for meat and it was so and God saw that everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good in the evening and the morning for the sixth day.